emerging YouTubers. I'm going to go ahead and um, just a quick tutorial for the new players about how to place your weapons and how to use them just a little bit, like on your arms. Um, <clears throat> some of the questions uh, that I've been seeing, it's like uh, how to place your weapons and, and how to use them, just a more of an advanced type thing for the new players. So it's really easy to go and learn how to do. First, I'm going to go ahead and go with, uh, let's go with my uh, Jenner F. I'm going to go to Mech Lab. I'm going to go to Weapons. And my right arm and left arm. My left arm has my left arm has three medium lasers, my right arm has two. So basically what that means is um, when I set up my weapon placements, I'm going to go to Weapon Groups right now, is my uh, right arm, my left arm has three and my right arm has two. Um, I have it on a number two group and number one group, and that's for a two button mouse. Now my mouse is three buttons, but I generally don't use the mouse wheel because it's a pain in the butt to go and use, so I just kind of just place them in two different type of weapon groups. That way kind of, it's just easier for me to go and use. If I needed to use them both at the same time, I just hit both both buttons at the same time and go and use it that way. So so basically that's, that's one of the things that I do. Um, other people are different on how they do the kind of stuff. This is just kind of help out new players uh, as far as like, uh, getting to fire a little bit better and not waste your heat on different things. So my right arm has two, my left arm has th oops, there we go. my left arm has uh, three there. So I'm going to go to a home and go to testing ground and go and show you a little bit what I'm talking about. New River City. In just a second here. Oh, it just takes a little bit for it to go through there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go to a wall here. Now basically when you're getting hit with fire and all you see on your, you know, if I look straight down the line, my right arm has more dominance on the building than my left arm does. See, my left arm shoots there, my right arm shoots there. So if I if I move, if I move this so, so it's like this, it's gonna hit the building before I can hit like whatever's there. So if I'm right here, get back a little bit. In general, though, basically, like the general dynamics. Uh, right now, I'm using my control button to talk, so it's kind of it's locking the target there. So hold on a second. But how to use cover and everything too. See, see how I can go ahead and fire my weapons like that. That's my left arm, which has three. So I'm keeping firing three. Now, my if I use my right arm. It's gonna, Online. it's gonna hit the building. So what you want to do is when you do your weapon placements, is right and left arms especially. Now the middle one, it depends. Uh, the middle is gonna fire exactly where the cursor is there, if you can see that right there. And your arms are gonna fire wherever you, you see that big line that's down there. Give another example here. I can't actually, but that's where your, uh, um, that's where your arms will fire at, up and down. And and also when you're moving along, um, if you're moving along the side here, I'll show you that. Well, for Jenner it's kind of hard because the arms are are fixed place. But uh, but in general though, you can go ahead and aim your weapons, you can aim your arms to the firing left and right, and your middle one can fire on the center um, on the center um, crosshairs. So you can fire two different mechs at the same time. It just it's kind of harder to learn, but it's it's once you get the hang of it, it's pretty cool. So if I want to fire both my weapons, I just hit both buttons and just fire just like that. So let's just say a person's over there. I'm going to try to try not to get hit by that guy. Let's just say he, he's over there. So I'm trying to hit him. Obviously I can't use my right weapon so I don't lose that heat. I only use three different medium weapons. instead of five. See how the heat goes up basically? I'll show you again. Heat level it goes up critical. like crazy. Now if I just use three, I'm not gonna overheat that much. At least I heat level just level critical. Depends, but just don't um, just don't go crazy on that. That's generally like when you wanna um, using the terrain and the arm dynamics to your advantage. And just like I said, like whenever you want to go ahead and fire both Give example. Here's a target at, out here. Let's go shoot him. Let me get cl to a closer one here. Do 
you right over here. Here, here we go. So there's a centurion sitting right there. I fire both. Target acquired. If I fire both, it's not going to happen. But if I only fire one, I can shoot his legs, I can shoot his arms, I can do like all the different things like right there. So that's that's what you want to do uh, when you're don't expose yourself too much because the thing, if he turns around and fires at you, he can only hit half your body. And normally um, they're going to aim straight center, which means he will hit that building. So that's kind of like general dynamics. 101 you can go and use for your games himself. Um, yeah, I know it's just hard to get used to, but it's one of the things that uh, over time you will learn. Uh, it's it, trust me, it is hard uh, to have all these different calculations and things go in your head and use them at the right time. Um, I'm going to show you another video of what someone else did about how to use their uh, their main body. I was fighting this centurion uh, kind of one on one, and what he did, he uh, we kept on exchanging blows. And I kept on shooting. I wasn't turning my torso to go ahead and to go like mitigate the damage. He was actually turning torso, and I'm gonna show you that right now. Welcome back. As you can see, with this, I'm trying to use my right arm and use the cover that uh, along the hill here for cover. I'm going back and forth in order for him to lose his lock, hopefully with my radar uh, derp, and then uh, and then hopefully he targets like someone else. But I'm rounding the corner, shooting, shooting shooting and then rounding back again unfortunately my center my center weapon hit the uh and hit the ramp there centering and then firing moving back again right here is something called slicing the pie it's where you uh, try not to expose yourself that much but you have a high, high line of fire that you're firing at uh right now i'm just shooting trying to get as much damage done on this guy there's this train that's gonna pop out real quick and he does a perfect example of mitigating the damage along his uh, along his center torso because he rotates he rotates his uh, his torso so I'll hit all three areas center torso right torso left torso um, this this next part where I slow it down he actually uses his arm as a shield which you'll see you see in right right about now. I'm going to slow it down here. So he uses his arm, so I'm going to shoot his arm and his, and his left torso and not to do as much damage to his center torso. And that's basically uh, uh, kind of using target and to move your torso so you don't take as much damage in one spot. Thank you very much for watching. I know you can watch other people and I appreciate you watching me. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and share, go ahead and do a like in case you like it. Leave comments below in case you have any questions I can try to answer for you. Thank you very much and you have a good time in Battlefield.